For almost 20 years, the Sadie Nash Leadership Project, based in Midtown, has offered young women programming aimed at creating the next generation of leaders. Part of that includes encouraging participants to pursue important roles in society, everything from jobs in journalism to a career in politics. We're going to double down. We're going to deepen um, our commitment to this work, I think, moving forward. They're doubling down because their cause has gained a new role model. As the projected winner of the vice presidency, Kamala Harris has achieved what other women have tried to do for decades. You know, we say if you can see it, you can be it. We have a generation of little girls who see this as a viable option to become a senator to run for the presidency. In fact, a record number of women joined the race for president this year. And while none made it to the top of the ticket, Greer sees this as progress. It's taken a long time to get a woman in the White House as vice president. We have a little more ways to go as, as president. But the president of the New York City chapter for the National Organization of Women says this is a win in their mission to advocate for women's rights here in the city. There is no doubt that having a woman in a position of power means that that women win. In fact, Osorio believes that Harris's upcoming role will bring some of the issues most important to women off the back burner. Issues like child care, prioritizing sexual assault, the prevention of it, making education inc important. And while Harris is not the only success story that Sadie Nash can use to encourage participants, they hope that her role will open up more people's minds to what women and minorities can offer in a variety of careers. You know, a huge part of our commitment it is really to make sure that um, these young people are having the opportunity to step into these roles. Changes that will hopefully extend the positive impact of Harris's achievement for years to come. Angie Gonzalez, New York One.